you, Yugi Mata, the heart of the cards. <laughs> Don't lose the heart of the cards, Yugi. You can do it. We'll be with you forever. Let's put your hand on the deck and we can get the heart of the cards to give us the card that we need to win this duel. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna watch some. What are we watching? Top 15 scary videos that 99% of people can't handle. I'm gonna say. Oh, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Try and get a different way today. Um, a bit more darker. Although I've got this like crazy beaming light in my eyes but yeah I'm all alone in my room it's hella dark all around and there's a reflection on me just behind the camera so it's kind of a bit you know creepy I might catch myself I uh, get a bit scared uh, so this video is top 15 top 15 came out 2nd of October so I'm only a day day behind well, let's watch. Number 15. Okay. Are you sleeping? No. On occasion, images caught on a baby monitor can give you pause. Other times, they're downright paralyzing. But as the baby turns onto his stomach, two glowing eyes blink open and thin, smoky fingers reach into the crib from the side. Whatever it is. That is that creepy. Fast. Number four. Holy sh That is just creepy as f What is that hand? Human intruder? It's like a like a munchkin or something, isn't it? Whatever it might be, why is it just sat there staring at the baby? You know, just take the baby. Eat it. Know, just get on with your thing, just go. Why are you just sat there like watching? Maybe it's the the stranger that offers you candy just, you know, somehow got in and just watching your kid. Number fourteen. Poltergeist activity. Poltergeist Sometimes activity. you just want to kick back and relax, and then this happens. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> My apartment has things going on. <laughs> going on? What the hell is that picture? Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh shit. what? Oh, the Ben. Because it's so. <laughs> I saw something new, I wasn't watching. It, that that face creeped me the f out, man. Like, some fing grudge spirit drew that sh stuck it on the wall. Self portrait or something. But anyway, that, that threw me off. But when I was trying to get to this point, I, I, I just saw a glimpse of something just going past in the hallway, and I was like, shit, did somebody just run across? And it just turned out to be the bin. As Devon the Ninth Hokage advises in the comments, you have the to what? get out of there. Von the Ninth Hokage advises in the Von the Ninth Hokage. <laughs> what comments. name is that? You have to get out of there. I love the, the art. Comments. You have to get out of there. Why is that like Native American? Like is that person wearing a dog skin on their head? Is it is that a dog? It's like a dog head with earrings, and then it's got like Naruto's nine tails coming out of his neck. No way, like that. It's Luffy's grand, oh, granddad. <laughs> Luffy's granddad. Um, is his portrait? It's very nice. Oh, I like it. Black and white. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Take Devon's advice before it's too late. Listen to Devon. Definitely looks paranormal to me. I agree. Looks paranormal to me too. Um. Then again, I could imagine, you know, the way it's moving. Like the chair comes towards me. There's so much, so many things in the way. It could be someone's pulling it. I wouldn't say someone's pushing it. Just doesn't. It doesn't seem to be a place where you can push from. I mean, there is a wall there, but you're not gonna push through the wall unless you're a ghost. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Someone could have pulled it, uh, but the bin, the, the the fact that it goes behind the wall and the way it tips over makes me feel like 
it was pulled. Why can't like, why can't a ghost, if they can push in and pull and all that, why can't they just lift it up like this? Like turn it over, drop all the rubbish out, you know, the chicken legs and stuff that, you know, leftovers uh, that they've thrown away and then chuck the, chuck the bin towards the guy. Why, why are they like performing for the camera? It just doesn't make any sense. I would call that, but then again, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just rationalizing it when it could be real. I doubt it, but it could be. Number 13. Number 13. A brick from above. Out in the jungle MD. at night. A group what's, is what was MD something. again? That's the doctor. MD. Death. Doctor of medicine. Okay. MD vines. He's got a doctorate in it. They start to see a small point of light blinking in the darkness. They follow it as it moves. Then all of a sudden, something heavy like a brick falls from above. The oh. brick starts running like mad. What just tried to take their lives? Okay, the small point of light blinking in the darkness just could be, uh, you know, a rabbit or whatever running past and is the, the fl flashlight highlighted its eye. I don't really consider that scary. Yes. They're already next to a rickety ass looking wall. A brick could just easily fall. They could have just held the camera while recording and went like this, held the brick and just went huh, and then started running just to give it a bit of substance. Something happened. It just looks like a piece of it's a crappy video. I'm not scared of this. The mystery near. Just when you think you've got your fear handled, it starts to eat you alive. This woman has a voice like a nightingale and is recording herself to showcase her talents. But your focus is shifted by... Hmm. Is this zoomed in? Because the anger, like if she recorded this with just half a face or like a third of a face and she's sh putting a focus on that mirror. It puts me off. But like, what? Uh, let, let me start from the start. Think you've got your okay, hold on. Well, so the mystery near. Just mirror. You think you've got so your she's recording a third of a face. It starts to eat you alive. It looks this like she's Instagram looking at the mirror. Gone wrong. Fake. This woman has a voice like a nightingale and is recording herself to showcase her talent. Maybe her voice is just that. It's just so powerful that it's causing shockwaves, and this mirror just can't take it. It just resonates with her voice and just wants to like boogie. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. Your focus is shifted by the strange supernatural mirror that magically appears in the background. It doesn't magically appear in there to begin with. Magically appears. What are you talking about? Space on the wall behind her is empty. It's like um <sighs> Okay, fine. It's it's fine. The way the narration is done is I guess in a way so that um the hype of that video make it more interesting than it is. Um I get it, like you know, the whole premise of it of that video is to scare people and people turn it on to get scared, but the fact that they just pull shit out of thin air just doesn't make sense to me like that mirror appeared the mirror was there to begin with like unless they showed me a clip where the mirror wasn't there and then it was fine but I didn't see that secondly people in there could barely make out what the hell was in that mirror but even if there were people there it's probably her mates the whole thing looks set up Scarecrow walking. Ooh. This one's picked up some heat in the Spanish speaking oh, YouTube God. community. It's got like the goat feet, doesn't it? Movements that. Yeah. Like you can see, there's a mask. Like, it goes. You might not see that. Like, if you look at his legs, it goes like that, bends back, and then down, and it looks like it's got a hoof. So they've like. Yeah, it looks like it's got like those goat. Kind of legs 
But it does move creepy. I hate really creepy moving things. Like the it's broken or something. Like it's a newborn. The the person filming do you think like if it looks like a new you know uh when a, a calf is born and um baby cow uh, i think they're called calves um when it's born and tr it tries to walk or a baby deer or whatever they're, they're just like wobbling around so it, it kind of has that same uh vibe like it's just been born and then i'm just trying to understand it is it wearing a hood or is it like it's got like Doc Brown, whatever his name is, from uh, Back to the Future. It's, it looks like it's got like white sheep, white sheep, sheepish, shaggy hair. And to drop his camera downward, when he lifts it yeah. up again, the scary scarecrow has vanished. What is scarecrow. happening? Is this Interesting, it's called a scarecrow. Controlled? I think there's a good chance this is CGI. But if that's yeah. not the case, then I have no idea how else to explain this. Number nine. Hey, you got a it. Haunting. I've been getting haunted for a while now, and now it's messing with oh. childhood of me. Shortly after, a series of pictures falls slightly from the wall and starts to swing. That doesn't is fall. It's like being twisted. Suggests. Another redditor in the comments thinks it may be a ghost or a spirit, but likely not a demon. He offers advice, writing, "Ask it how you can help." Maybe research your house to see what may have happened there. Other Reddit. I I disagree with that opinion. Advice, like if it goes down like this, you're not gonna say, "Oh, is there someone there? Can I help you?" Like you're gonna hit the pants and you're gonna run out, and you're gonna, you know, call a priest or whatever religious uh, affiliation you have, or you're gonna rationalize it or you're gonna get like a um i don't know a gun or something <laughs> you're gonna find some way to protect yourself you're gonna leave or whatever it is like i throw the floor thinks this video looks legit I'm i agree it does look legit you, like that photo the way the photo moves is just weird like how would that even work like unless it's like a false False wall, but it's it's not a false wall. It's interesting how it pivots like on on that. So it's not the wind, cause it yeah, it could be, but the way it moves like like that. You see what may have happened there. Like goes like that. Like, but it comes back. This video yeah, like that. Legit. See. Oh, it got Genuinely stuck, and then it. That could just be the wind, like the wind pushes it up and it got stuck in behind the photo and then it just wobbles and swings. But I don't know. I don't know. I think it's creepy as f Number eight. Which, Kid's face makes me feel it. like it's not real. That kid was not scared at all. So I debunked this sh with us. When you enter a graveyard, you may not leave alone. Okay. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit. Stream gaming rights. This was caught in a cemetery when we were leaving. All four of us got chills at the time. And it There's four of them. They're leaving the cemetery at night. Okay. It felt like something left with us. In the short clip, the group is heading out of the driveway of the cemetery. So they're leaving. It's nighttime. Why are you in a graveyard at night? Why the hell were they leaving a cemetery at night? So what time did they get to the cemetery? What the, what the hell were they doing at the cemetery when it's dark? Like, usually those kind of places, I think they close at a certain point, unless it's like, a, it's kind of gates or anything like that. But yeah, like that is weird. Why are you going to a cemetery at night? Why are you leaving one at night? <laughs> Do you work there? There's four of them. That, 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 there is more to this story that I want to know. Not just that four second clip. <laughs> like I said, they, they do have some interesting stuff on there. Come on, we need more backstory chills. Come on, go back to those guys and get it off of them. 
you see a figure on the side of the road. According to the Redditor, they caught this creepy thing on video where in reality there was nothing. What does that mean? They caught this creepy thing on the video but in reality there was nothing. What does that mean? Like they caught something on camera but in reality it wasn't there so the camera popped up. <laughs> the debunking like themselves. <laughs> it was a camera glitch, camera glitch guys but I thought we'd submit this because you know. You can make up a story about it. Reddit. This redditor writes, Through this edit together of me being haunted and I'm terrified. In the beginning of the clip, Mati asks the spirit if he can please enter his room. And the door swings closed. We'll take that as a no. He hurries to open it and reveals that there's no one behind it or inside. As he mentions that his fan is turned off on its own. The fan... How could you even tell if there was no one in that room? That camera moved at the speed of light. I couldn't even understand what the f was going on. <laughs> I love this shit, man. Like, <laughs> there was no one in the room. F opens the door, goes whoosh, 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 whoosh. whoosh. I felt like I uh, was in, uh, you know, the twilight or like going through a wormhole and going as uh, a warp. Let's go to warp six, Spock, and then all the lights are like just starts passing you by. Like, how the hell are you gonna tell? And flings itself from the table beside his bed. Lastly, he turns on his piano keyboard and asks, "This is the same guy. This is the same guy that had the photo swinging from earlier. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Mossy, Mossy, and." You shack up. Mossy and you shack back. Oh, Mossy ain't his backup. <laughs> what the f? <laughs> Anywho. Outside your door in order to have any bad juju, stay out. And no unwelcoming entities in your. Bad juju. <laughs> bad juju. Oh, what's that guy's name? Juju Moju. Mojo Juju. It's a guy, it's a YouTuber guy. It's like uh, built like a brick in your house. Um, and he's flexible as a uh, It's like Juju Mufu. Mofo. Mufu? I can't remember. Go check him out as well. And chills. Uh, narrator. Top 15. Yeah. Number 3. Python and the Paranormal. What would you do if you ran into oh. a massive python in the paranormal all in one night? Oh, Hover's I'll send this video before. Well. 2020 by Catch em All Fishing. And at 5 minutes and 53 seconds, Zach abruptly turns to a doorway, seeming to sense something there. Oh, sh it appears that something is yeah, there. I'll send this, you but... In slow -mo, an obscure figure is standing in the that door. is creepy. Holy he got the heck out of there. Zack's night didn't end there. As he's driving home, he crosses paths with what he'd been looking for all along, a snake. He grips the snake near Why? its head and shows the audience its fangs as the python starts to wrap its thick body around his arm. I think this is exactly why you should never grab a python. That, <laughs> that little <laughs> uh, sound effect got me <laughs> more than this video did between encountering what may have been the paranormal in the underground city and prying this python from his arm one thing's for sure this dude has nerves of steel catch a mole fishing why is he catching a snake is he gonna eat it i don't get this guy what is he like a uh i don't know Collector? <laughs> I was gonna say zoologist. Is, is, is a zoologist a thing? Um, why is he? Why? Why catch a snake? Like he goes looking for snakes. It's not like there's a snake in his house, or he's going to people's houses and catching snakes because they've like got them loose or something, or there's wild ones got in the walls or whatever. He's going to abandoned places to find snakes breeding ground to catch them and then he finds a snake on the road and he's catching it 
after some ghostly shit happened. I, d I don't get this. What's it doesn't make any sense to me. I must have missed. I must not have had a bit of information because it's just too focused. Or I didn't pay too much attention to it because I thought I'd already seen it. But it just doesn't make any sense. Why? Weird. Number two. Zombie graveyard. It looks like zombies want to get out of bed every. This is like a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament when they go to a Duelist Kingdom, and then uh, they they're in the zombie uh, section of it. <laughs> it's like zombie graveyard. Let's get all my zombie. My zombie deck will defeat any of your decks. Whatever rare card you have, I will win with my zombie bonus field bonus. Don't mess with me, Seto Kaiba, Yugi Moto. I will defeat you with my um, zombie dragon. Yeah. Put my the the heart of the cards. No, I got zombies. They don't have hearts. They're rotten. Yeah. Thank you, Yugi Moto, the heart of the cards. <laughs> Don't lose the heart of the cards, Yugi. You can do it. We'll be with you forever. Let's put your hand on the deck and we can get the heart of the cards to give us the card that we need to win this duel. No. <laughs> I'm gonna use Zombie Dragon and I'm gonna win. Yes. What language is that? Because it looks Russian to me. I wouldn't even know how to search this. Actually, I do. What language uses a backward uh, <laughs> backwards in Russian? Russia, Russian. The gate opens in the middle of the night. No one is there. It doesn't appear to be windy. Then oh. something flashes on the yeah. screen. It's hard to make out. You can see a ghostly demon face. It is quite clear if you manage to pause it at the right moment. No. You can see a ghostly demon face. Oh, there's a white orb spirit. What do you think it could be? Is the I would say it's like, you know, uh, editing. Yeah. This the zombie outbreak we've all been waiting for. <laughs> he said ghostly demon face. And now it's a zombie outbreak. <laughs> like, not cohesive. It doesn't, it doesn't translate well. So, uh, ghost demon face zombie outbreak ghost demon face zombie outbreak like no there's like a section missing there was a ghostly demon face who summoned Cthulhu and then turned everyone into zombies Z zombie outbreak yeah 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 you need you need that bit <laughs> Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday. Yes, subscribe. Uh, and to me. I felt like I ranted throughout most of that video. Uh, but I had a good time. I hope you did too. And I'll catch you in the next one.